started, welcome to our 20-minute restorative practice. This is a hip opening practice, so we're going to do a lot of hip work. Naturally, we carry a lot of stress and tension in our hips, so it's really nice to have the opportunity to work through the sensations one breath at a time. So we're beginning in child's pose. Nice, gentle way to ease our way in through your entire lower half of your body. Feel the gentle stretch through your hips, your knees, your ankles and toes. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Coming up to all fours, hands and knees. A few rounds of cat-cow. Taking a deep breath in, feeling up and open. Exhale, rounding through your spine. Again, inhale, up and open. Pressing into your palms, rounding through. Breathe in and open. Round out. You're over-exaggerating these movements. Inhale to open. Exhale, round it out. Nice and gently come to a neutral spine. Curl your toes under. Leading with your hips, downward feet. Dog. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Just feeling your dog. Bring your feet together to touch. Inhale your right leg all the way up to the sky. Bend the upper knee. Peel your hip up and open. And just breathe into the right side of your body. Plug into your right palm. Lift your right knee up a little bit higher. A deep breath in. Fill up. As you exhale, nice and gently, step your right foot all the way to the front of your mat. Bring your back knee down. Bring both of your palms to your right instep. And then right here, you can stay on long arms or you can come to your forearms. If you have a block, you can place your forehead on it or you can just let your head hang nice and heavy. Again, long arms, so your palms in the mat is also an option. Take each pose where you need to for your body, for the space that you're in today. And we're just going to take a few more breaths right here. Again, breathing into the sensations. Notice we're communicating through sensation, starting to just feel your thoughts quiet down in the mind. Let your head hang heavy, heavy, heavy. Breathe in. Breathe out. Allow yourself to get a little deeper. Take one more full deep breath in and a long breath out. Come up on long arms if you're not already. Toe heel your right foot all the way over to the left side of your mat. We're working our way into half pigeon. Good. Inhale and then exhale. You're going to fold over your front thigh. <clears throat> nice long arms in front of you. Feel the back leg nice and long behind you. Just start to melt into this. Resting your forehead on your mat, on your palms, if you have a block. And then breathing. Letting the breath effortlessly work through you. Nice long inhales. Nice smooth exhales. Breathe in. Gently walk your palms all the way back up and swinging that left leg around, you're going to place it right on top of your right. So if the knees don't settle, if they're kind of up, that's okay. With every exhale, it's going to feel a little bit better and you're just going to work again right where you are today. Nice and gently, take an inhale, left arm underneath your right, coming into eagle arms, and then you're just going to fold over the legs. Nice, long stretch. All through the back, the upper portion of your back. Good. Breathing slowly. Inhale, head heavy. Exhale. Take a 
one more deep breath in, plugging into your sit bones as you breathe out, just feeling that melting that sensation. Take a deep breath in, come back up, releasing your bind, reach your arms up to the sky, exhale, arms coming back down. Taking your left leg forward and your right leg behind you now. So if this is too much on your knees, take your right knee out further to your right side. If it's okay, you're gonna bring your knees close to one another. Bringing your palms back behind you, lifting your heart up, and then you can stay here or coming onto your forearms. Drop your head back, whether you're on forearms or long arms. Keep your left leg nice and long. Soften all the muscles through your throat. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. This can feel pretty intense. So I want you to keep your breath moving in and out. Slow, controlled breath. arms. Swing your right leg forward and nice and gently just shake out your legs a little bit. Good. Bringing your right knee into your chest. Give it a little squeeze so hold it close to you. Take your left arm up on your inhale and then your left elbow taking it to the outside of your right thigh. Pressing down into your right palm. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, gentle twist. Good. So with every inhale, you're going to feel spine long to the crown of your head. With every exhale, twist a little bit more. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, so twisting, you're cleansing, rinsing. And then exhale, release. Reach your arms up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, folding over the front leg. So you're coming into staff pose, double leg extension. Drop your forehead down towards the shins. If the backs of the legs are tight, like mine always feel pretty tight, you're just going to gently have that intention there to come a little bit closer towards the legs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, dropping the head, forehead right down towards your shins. With every exhale, you're getting a little bit deeper, feeling a little freer. to all fours for hip circles. You're rolling your hips in a nice big circle. Over exaggerate these movements and then switch directions when you're ready. So you're just rolling it forward all the way back. Moving with breath. Coming back to neutral, curl your toes under, leading with your hips. Downward facing dog. Bring your feet together to touch. Extending your left leg all the way up to the sky. Bend the upper knee, peel your hip up and open. Take a look underneath your left armpit. Maybe lift your left knee up a little bit higher. Squeeze your right thigh strong. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drawing the left knee into your chest. Lightly step your left foot through. Bring your back knee down. Both of your palms to the left instep. Coming up on long arms, staying there, or down to your forearms. Gently coming into this. With every hip opener, there can be an intensity there. A lot of stress and tension really held right there. So just noticing and continuing to breathe through it. Long, deep inhales. 
long, smooth exhales. Soften all the muscles behind the back of your neck. If your head is not hanging heavy, I want you to feel the head hang the heaviest, even heavier. Softening, breathing in, and breathing out. And then gently coming onto long arms. Toe heel your left foot over to the right side of your mat, setting up for our half pigeon. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, folding over the front thigh. Good. Let your arms reach and extend out in front of you. Pressing your hips back. Now, if you notice you're leaning into your left side, try to even it out and come over to the right. I want it to be a nice, even stretch right through your hips. Forehead heavy. Eyes light. Breath in. Breath out. Keeping that nice rhythm. Breathe in. palms right next to your hips. You're going to swing your right leg around, stack it over the left. Maybe this side will feel a little bit different for you, a little bit easier or maybe a little bit more resistant. Just noticing, inhale as you exhale, taking your right arm underneath your left for eagle arms. Inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, folding over the legs. And remember, the knees don't have to be all the way down, right? So if they're lifting up, that's okay. Maybe not stacking the legs as much. I want you to keep grounded and rooted into your sit bones. Every exhale getting a little bit deeper. Breathing in. Feeling that sensation to let go, let it go. Good. Take a deep breath in, come back up. Releasing the arms, reach up. Exhale, bringing your arms back down. Taking your right leg out long in front of you. Left leg, left knee bending, and then right here. So this is our pretty intense knee stretch. So through the upper part of your thigh and into that knee joint. If it's too much, keep your left knee out further. If you've got it, bring the left knee a little bit closer and nice and steady forearms or on long arms. Dropping your head back. Steady breathing. up on long arms, releasing that left leg out. If it feels pretty tight, that's normal. Go ahead and bring your left knee into your chest. This is so good for your digestive system. Left knee hugs in, reach your right arm up on your inhale. Take your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. 
Left palm plugging down into your mat right behind your seat. Inhale, length. Exhale, looking over that right shoulder. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Just twisting, rinsing, cleansing. Inhale and exhale. Take a deep breath in. Allow it to release, to let go as you breathe out. What is no longer serving you, let it go. Nice and gently right from here. Soles of the feet together. Let your knees fall open. Inhale. Exhale, spilling over the legs. Good. You can grab a hold of your feet and just dropping your forehead down towards the feet. Right towards the legs. Spine is long. Plug into your hips, pressing them down as you're spilling over. With every exhale, feeling the knees melt open a little bit more. Again, no emotion held in the face. Eyes are light. Jaw is soft. The back of the neck is releasing. Extending your legs out in front of you, nice and long. Go ahead and lie down on your back. Bring your knees into your chest and squeeze. Gently rock side to side. Massage through your lower back. Massage through your spine. Setting up for our supine twist. Left leg long, right knee crossing over to the left side body. Taking your right arm out to a goalpost arm. Nice, gentle twist, looking over your right shoulder. And switching knees in, right leg long, left knee over. Taking that left arm to your goalpost arm. See if both of your shoulders can be planted on your mat. Looking over the left shoulder, noticing, inhaling, lean through your spine, exhaling a little bit more into your twist. Keep breathing. So even though the poses may not feel as intense, I want you to keep that nice, steady breath. Coming back to center on your inhale, squeezing your knees into your chest. Exhale, bringing your, the soles of the feet up to the sky, grabbing a hold of the inside or outside of your feet, setting up for happy baby. Knees pressing down. Take one more full deep breath in and release. Right from here, bringing the feet up towards the sky. So this is a restorative inversion. Allowing gravity to work for you here, letting all the fresh, oxygenated blood work its way down into the hip joints, into your organs, for your thyroid stimulating, for your brain having all that fresh blood its way in. It's so good for you after a practice to come into an inversion. Arms out by your sides. And if you have a wall, you can always set the legs up onto the wall and stay there for as long as you would like. Head just feeling nice for all the way to the bottom of your spine. You can just feel it. Celebrate your body. Celebrate your breath. Just feeling grateful that you are able to do a practice like
just part of the practice. It's just getting here. days are like, right? Thoughts moving, flowing, keep going. After a practice, a mindful practice, think of a cup of water sitting on a table and how clearly you can see through it. That's what the practice does. Having these moments to see clearly, to focus your attention on what is needed at that present moment, not thinking about the past, not 